Alright. In the previous video, I have covered the light tool. In today's video, I'm going to very, very briefly go through the no light tool. Am I recording? I'm going to very, very briefly go through the no light tool since it's like very, very simple. No collide tool. Select an object, select another object. They won't collide with each other. Ooh. And let's say you have a lot of objects. Well, you can just right click the object, and the object won't collide with anything but the world. Ooh, not even the camera. Good. Alright, on to the. the. on to the physical properties tool. Wah. Hey, hello everybody, I'm the fan, and it's also 8000. And today, we're going to be taking a look at Higgins for Tool. I have nothing special for today's intro, so I'm just gonna die. Yeah. Right now, today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the Physical Properties Tool. Now, what this tool does, it edits the properties, physical properties. So, if you want an object to be super slippery, or no gravity, I default. Thank you. Right, now if you want an object to be really, really bouncy, you can change the material. The metal bouncy or super bouncy. It, bleh, it changes the physical properties of objects. Hey, like in constantly bouncing. Eh, ow, it even hurts. Hey, right, let's turn you into a concrete. There we go. It's still made out of metal. It's only when I smash you into stuff when you sound like concrete. Oh, and you're through the world. Oops. And dirt, flesh. Really sound like much. It sound like just it sound like macaroni. Flash metal ice. Here we are. Ice. It can be slippery, or we can have super ice. Just super slippery. Look at it go, and only to be stopped by friction and or gravity. I think the only thing that's stopping it is gravity. Hey. Yeah, all these except for metal except for bouncy rubber rubber makes it bouncy. Nope. Rubber does not make it bouncy. Yeah, there's only a, like a couple of things here that actually changes its physical properties. Like the all of these just simply changes the way it, the sounds of it landing. Sounds of it landing? It's smashing into stuff sounds. However, there is something special about the physical properties tool. We can enable and disable the gravity. Like the first bit of the video where I forgot to turn it on. Set the thing to default and stuff. Shut up. Gravity! Well, it's not floating off into space. Well, that's because it uses realistic gravity. There we are. Yep. Bonk. There it goes. Low, no gravity. And this is like obnoxiously low gravity, like low enough for the this object to not be affected by gravity. Yeah. We are in a video game, so there is such thing there is such thing as no gravity in the video game. Hey. Hey, that was a physical property store. And the no colour tool. Which is very quick. I did not expect it to be this quick. I promise to make longer videos. Yeah. And thank you all so much for watching. Like bouncy cubes. Be like bouncy cubes. I'll see you in the next video. Very well, my people. 
Is the next tool like complicated? Please tell me the next tool is complicated. That is an add on. Ah, the tool. The remover tool. Bonk. The move. The. The remover tool removes stuffs. The. 